Hello everyone, welcome. This is Lean Toward Happy.com's Dance Art Party. I'm Rosalind Warren and I am your guide to practical spirituality. It's so wonderful to be here with you. For me, here in Northeast Florida, we have a uh, maybe I shouldn't say nasty, but we have a really, really, really rainy day. So if you had lots of things planned, I hope your day has not bummed out like it has here for so many. But this is a perfect time to be here and play with a dance and to um, do art. Yay! So we are going to begin in just a second. I invite you, especially if you're a replay viewer, welcome to comment to like, to let uh, let what, let Facebook know you were here, and that way more people will know that we are here. I am going to uh, go over on our page and remind some folks that wanted to be reminded that we are live, and you never know whether this is going to talk to me when I open it or not. <laughs> I hope your weekend is going well. And tell me what you're planning to do. If you're in the States, what are you planning on doing tomorrow on Memorial Day? Just let me know. That would be fun. We are going to um, just be at home and probably hamburgers, grill, and um, there's share button. I had a hard time finding my own share button. And if it's raining, we'll just do them inside like we normally do. So there you have it. <laughs> All right, this is interesting. For some reason, it's not pulling up our friends to... Let's see. Hmm, it's misbehaving today, which is not unusual. We want to simulcast this in uh, Sacred Soul Dancers. So let's see if we can get them up. And I thank you for sharing. If you don't have your art supplies together, get your dance book, get some paper, get whatever. Get whatever kind of art supplies you like, whether that's magazines and papers for collage, or paint, or markers, or crayons, colored pens, uh, whatever it is that turns you on. So, let me see what... Hmm. Okay. There, maybe this will do it. Alright. It's not... Well, we will just carry on. I'm not sure why it's misbehaving today, but hey, whatever. Don't you love having technology that changes itself like every week so that you just kind of never know what's going on? <laughs> I will have to tell you the truth. That is my least favorite thing. I like to figure things out and then work with the system. But apparently I am being asked two. All right, there we are. Okay, let us begin. I am assuming you are all here on replay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, today, I uh, kind of in honor and thinking about Memorial Day and thinking about freedom and um, also uh, Tuesday is full moon in Sagittarius. And one of the hallmarks of Sagittarius, that would be me too, <laughs> is we are fun loving. So what Sophia brought forward for us to dance with today is all of your internal tapes or your story you tell about fun, about having fun, <laughs> just about taking time off. 
So we're going to begin. We'll light our pile of sante and invite our higher selves to come party with us. There it goes. There it is. Okay. There's our pile of sante being sent to you etherically. Mm, beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful sacred wood. I'm going to move the candle so it does not. There we are. Perfect. Ah. Let's call ourselves here to be present. We call upon those who love us unconditionally and we invite our own higher selves to the seat of the soul, which is right above your crown chakra. And just sitting a moment and allowing that feeling to come. Beautiful, beautiful. So if you are new to the dance process, we are, I'm using right now just a composition notebook. You can use any old piece of paper you have in this moment. doesn't matter what you write um, because we're going to try to get it all out. Because the way we do it is we end up covering it up. And then <laughs> we glue it together and put art on top. So whatever you share here with your heart and your soul, no one will ever see. So it's perfectly all right to just let it go. So our thoughts today are the story you are telling about fun and taking it even a step further and I'll drop you down here to where we're going to work so taking it even a little bit further is what is the story you're telling about having to work hard Man, we even have a, a song about it. She works hard for her money. Now, maybe back in the day, that was absolutely true. But we have shifted. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be true for you. And I will give a caveat, because there are some people who object to that line of thinking. So, just saying. We are not saying that... You will not, see hard is, hard is such a word, it can mean so many th different things. You know how I am about the English language, it's such a funny language. Um, funny, not ha ha. <laughs> but, it doesn't mean that you will not expend effort. It doesn't mean that you will not be fully engaged in what you do. It doesn't mean that there will be days when you're going to blow right through fixing dinner <laughs> because you're so engaged. That's not what it means. It means that you will no longer have to struggle. You won't be working because you think you have to You'll be working because you're inspired and want to. So let's pull up some stuff. What do you believe about, let's go with an easy one, which is money, because that one usually brings up a lot of stuff. So, <sighs> I've got a clean page here. I want to make sure it's one I can glue on. And it's not because I've already got something there. All right. So, um, ooh, here's a good one. Write this down and let it be a, a starter for you. If I don't work hard, and we'll put at something, and money shows up that means 
Now, you're going to start filling in yours. For me, I still have a little bit here. I've been working on this for quite a while, so it's not as um, horrid, but I can still feel it a little bit. That means I stole it. Whoa! <laughs> um, that means it's not worth much. All right, you take off and just whatever it means for you. And Sophia will prompt us some more as we go along. If you get stuck, remember you can just, just keep your pencil work moving um, and just write blah, blah, blah. And that'll help your mind get out of the way because it's telling you this is stupid right now. <laughs> and we'll let your heart take back over and we'll help you in um, the process here. So, just settle into it and what comes up for you. What does it mean when you hear people say, you don't have to work hard, you can let it be easy. Just let whatever comes up, come up. Just be with it. That's good. That's good. Now remember that when you get your page full or you feel like you're kind of starting to run out, just turn your page over so you can rewrite over what you wrote. And what story do you tell about if you're having fun, then you must be lazy? Fun equals lazy. Whose voice? I, now, when I say something like whose voice, I don't mean go, mmm, and pick a person. I just mean, what is the voice in your head around Fun equals lazy. If you are always looking to have fun, then you're lazy. You're not working hard enough. So just look at that. Ooh, some coming up for me on this one.
you go. So I'll show you, this is what's going to happen to your dance. <laughs> this is what's going to happen after you've been dancing for uh, a year or two. I, I don't have that much left. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know that this one has one. Um, well, they're all covered up. Uh, when I first started this, I would down this one, down this one, back, back, down, cross. I, it would take two full pages to clear all of the uh, voices in my head. Um, I was There's something in me wants to say the negative talk, but that's, I mean, we're not trying to um, label it or anything. It's just the voices in my head. And so whatever it takes you, it takes you. But now that I'm, my system is really, really clean, now, yeah, there was some good stuff that came up out of this. And, ooh, last week, wowzer, that was a big one. Um, but I can, I know now I can feel when I'm running out of steam. And it's kind of like I've heard almost all of it. So what we're doing here is we are witnessing our own voice. <clears throat> well, I'm going to caveat that one as well. We are witnessing the voices in our head, <clears throat> um, especially when you first get started with all this. 99% of the voices in your head um, are not you anyway. So that's why I'm like, oh, wait a minute, we'll back up on that. So we're not, but we are, we are witnessing the voices in your head. We are hearing them. For the most part, I speak for myself, but I think it's pretty universally true. For most of my life, I didn't listen to those voices. I would push them down, shove them down, um, try to, hello, eat them away, silence them with um, uh, even good stuff like reading and things like that. But I did it so I didn't have to listen to the voices in my head. And all that did was make them get louder and louder and louder. And that's what this process is. It gives you a place to witness, to stand as an impartial witness to what your body and your mind and your thoughts and your beliefs are trying to share with you that's what we're doing so bring the thought you have right now bring it to a close if you have more that you want to do you can always flip the page and dance more later but for right this minute we're going to bring this little bit of freeing ourselves from the idea that having fun 
will make us go broke, will make us look bad, will get us judged by all those other hard-working people in the world. And we're going to free that up today. Woohoo! All right. I'll give you just another minute to wrap it up. And then we're going to do our clearing. And then we're going to play, 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 play. Very good. Now, always when you complete a dance session, you're going to lay your hands on the words. And you're going to clear the energy. And if you've been here any length of time, you know what we're going to do. So any of this, any of this that belongs to someone else, you return to cinder with love and consciousness. Deep breath in and out. Any of this that belongs to something else, we release you to the universe to be transmuted into love. Deep breath in and out. Any of this that belongs to me, I hear you. Thank you. I love you. Deep breath in and out. Mm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, we call these ashes <laughs> because there's no energy left. There, it's just lead on the paper or uh, ink if you used ink on the paper. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put these two pages together and completely cover this up. Because if you're using a book like this, even if you were going to put your art here, you would need to glue these two pages together because it's just too flimsy. So, we're just going to do it this way. So, I'm using a glue stick. You can use whatever you like. But people can't read what you wrote anyway, so that's good. But we're just going, this is just part of the dance process that makes it so magical. And you know, today I was thinking about the dance. Uh, there's some big changes coming to Lean Toward Happy, and um, I'll be sharing that with you soon. But one of the things I was thinking about was the dance, and I'm like, you know, it's mystical and it's magical and it's practical. That's what I love so much about the dance. All right, so once you've got it corralled there, now we're gonna do art here. We're gonna put beauty on top of ashes. Now, you can do anything you want. You can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use papers, you can use a fabric, you can use um, paint, any kind of paint. You can do it any way your little heart desires. I had so much fun, here's the one we did last week, with the collage last week uh, that I already started looking at papers <laughs> and I found a couple that I want to use for here. And... The other thing that I wanted to share with y'all, which I thought was so funny, last week when um, we were collaging and I was tearing things apart, I've got to find this little piece I want to show y'all. Uh, you know, I was just slinging stuff on the floor. I don't need that. I threw it on the floor. I don't need that. I threw it on the floor. And, oh, here it is. I was like, oh, I hope it's here. I'm sitting like the next day or whatever. And I look down at my feet. I don't sit here normally. I sit over another part of the room. And I look down and I'm like, there's this little thingy. Now, that's just a scribble scrabble that got torn off because we didn't need it. But I'm like, that is really cool for a base. So I went diligently back and grabbed all the rest of the stuff that I just slung on the floor. <laughs> so I'm going to build a background with just little pieces, and I use gloss medium. Uh, I, I get mine at Walmart. This is, you know, just not a real expensive brand. Um, but I like it because 
it's just fun. Um, I can't get my hands into the glue, and I can get my hands into this. You do need a, um, a towel or something to wipe your hands with occasionally, but... So, I'm just going to start gluing. So, you do whatever you're using. And if you'd like to, in the comments, let me know what you've decided to, to work with today. I'm going to work with paper. These happen to be magazines. That's my next thing, is I'm going to find... Um, I'm going to start getting a stash of paper that is not um oh look look this side is cool so i'm gonna do it both ways this might take me all day <laughs> so we'll just go as far as we're gonna go and then we'll see but now i realized the back was so cute i want to i want to use the back as well so And then I, I really invite you to put your finished piece, um, post it in Sacred Soul Dancers. That's a closed group, so even if you're using, like we are, magazines, that technically um, they are not copyright free. So, you, you know, number one, absolutely, positively could not ever sell it, but... It's okay to post it in our closed group. We give honor to every photographer who ever took a picture, and we thank them for their work. We haven't got a clue who they are, so that's about as good as we can do. But we always want to honor others' work because we would like our own honored. And because it's the right thing to do, and keeping a clear... Keeping a clear conscience really makes a difference when you're wanting to connect with source energy. And then how obliging of this one to be a straight line. I think this is what we tore off from the flower last week, but ew, kinda looks watercolory. Hello! It's so good to have a live person. Mercedes has joined us. We're just playing away. It's pouring down rain here. Is it raining in North Carolina? Oops. Haha! <laughs> that piece might not want to have played. It jumped back off. Funny. Let's go to see if I could. There we are. Let's see. Hi. Okay. We've had a really interesting morning here. <laughs> oh, sunny there. Good for y'all. Um. Yeah, Facebook changed things, so I wasn't able to share in another group or anything, so it's just odd. But I'm having fun. Yes, we, that tropical storm, whatever. Oh, it rained there yesterday. Yeah, it just got here today. Moving up from the south. But, you know, filling up with water in uh, the end of May is a really, really good idea. Because... Cold, or uh, hot, hot, hot July and August is on the way. <laughs> so y'all know how I love, well, if you were here last week, I love covering the whole page. It's just, that's just me. And I mean, I am I am working on developing an um, a journal that's going to have art pages for the dance, and I'll let y'all know as soon as that comes about. 
I've got a particular way I want it done in mind, and that's not working out <laughs> as I'm hoping. So it's kind of sort of like I've just made up my mind that's how I want to do it, and I'm kind of trying to hold out for that. Oh, this is fun. How much I love collage. y'all are having as much fun as I am because this is great. Yeah, the hubs would go, so why are we gluing trash down <laughs> on a piece of paper? It's just hard to explain. I don't know, hon. It makes me feel good. And you like me feeling good. <laughs> You'll go, well, yeah, there is that. There we go. That's it, I think it's funny that, um, you know, I was saying about finding that little piece of trash, and now I'm, like, enamored with it. See, this is this is enticing, but when I look at this, it's like oh, it's yeah, you know, it's grass, it's yada yada. Um, it's something with the pre picture that just doesn't sit. So that tells me that I want to just start cutting things up smaller and smaller. So that they don't already have a now see that's kind now that for me that's cool. So that's an interesting it's fun when you do things like this, you learn about yourself. Things about yourself you might not have known before. Well, of course in the dance we're not doing that all the time. And feel free if you'd like to. Um, the dance is a really safe place, or uh, Sacred Soul Dancers is a real safe place. So if you'd like to come and share insights you've had or things you've learned, that would be fun. And I gotta be, I don't, I, all this really cool stuff. Because I want to show y'all <laughs> what I found that I'm going to actually put when I get the background completed. Oh, where'd they go? Let me find them again. <laughs> oh, might actually be here. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to have show up for life because I'm like, yes. That's how I like to have fun. And then for all of our dog lovers, this, ah, oh, isn't this so awesome? I'm gonna cut some of the other off. Look at this pup. Look at him showing up for life. So these are gonna kind of be in the middle. So I'm, I'm thinking as I'm building my background, I don't need to cover all of this middle because I'm gonna have these words in here. So I'm kind of planning ahead. Um, you don't have to do that. You can be absolutely, totally spontaneous. Um, another thing about it is um, not worrying about what's going to get covered up. And I know that that's just the thing I have about. Mm, I really love that page. I want it. I want to see it. And so I do a little bit of planning ahead. But now this one is really cool. It's paintbrushes advertising earrings, if you can imagine. And this cool. Let 
And if you know me at all, you know I love words. Oh my goodness, I love words. And I always have. It's probably why I'm an editor as well as everything else I do. And um, so here's, here's a set of words I'm going to put on here somewhere. Let's hear it out. Cool. Da, 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 da. Love that. So that'll go somewhere. Probably right there. Save it. All right. Hmm. So, ooh. This is the rest that's on this page with the show up for life. And I really liked it. So I think I'm going to put it more in the, up in the corner. Yes. So I actually want all of it on there. So let me find some little piece of whatever to stick there. Ooh, <laughs> that piece did not want to come. He flew off. Before you get back to it so I'm really actually every time I do I should shut it but yeah I'm not sure I want that girl's arm in there well y'all have fun Rachel whatever you're doing there we go perfect perfecto that. Right. Hmm. Here's some, here's those, that bird nest left from last week. <laughs> Let's see what we've got in here that we could use. And you just put this uh, gloss on top of everything else. It, you know, on top as well as the bottom, which is kind of cool. Okay. So, looking for a little bit more down here, a little bit more in here. dress that I'm fixing to tear up. <laughs> I love that pattern. Let's see what we can do with that. Oh. Like 
Wow, this whole thing's going to be love that. I just found another love that word. And sometimes, like, right now, I there's not a whole lot of this pattern that I want. So I'm actually, instead of tearing it, which um, takes a lot of paper, I'll just take and cut it. Um, kind of, you know, ununiformly. <laughs> I don't know what term that would be today. Okay. Kelly Ray Roberts uses what she calls the three second rule. So you've got that in your hand, and you might, you know, you can look at it if it's here, there, but three seconds and then put it down. Because otherwise, you know what we'll do. We'll sit there and fiddle on one piece, worrying about it. Um, I adore these flowers. Um, I do not know what they really are, but we call them um, Japanese magnolias. And I actually have a picture of Mercedes. She was barely stand, sitting up underneath a bunch of them when she was a tiny baby. I don't know if y'all can see it. They are the most beautiful flowers. I keep saying I'm going to get one and plant it in the yard. And then another year goes by. That thing would be 20 feet tall now if I'd planted it when I moved here like I wanted to. Interesting. Oh. oh, I love this little bird. Look at that. Pinky or a canary. Let's get him on here. Oh, we've got some hummingbirds. I've only seen the one really quickly. But the feeder is being emptied. So I've got to figure out what time they're coming so that I can uh, enjoy them a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out carefully because I really like him. A few more minutes together and then of course <laughs> carry on <laughs> for as long as it feels good that's the other thing you know in art as with everything else you're doing do it as long as it feels good and when it quits feeling good like you know your brain gets in gear and it's like oh this isn't working out right it's not doing good blah 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 well, number one, dance with all that silliness. Um, but then, let it go. Just go, well, that's enough for today. And just let it go. Because if you're not inspired, it's not going to give you the you know, bang for the buck, we call it. Uh, you know, it's, it's even fun. You can push fun. You can put, okay, there we are. It's finally coming up. Uh, you know, Sophia told us about this once before. You know, your ego can hijack anything. Even your spiritual practice. Even your... <sighs> fun. When fun becomes something that you have to do to prove something about something, stop. Just, just stop because it's not it's now no longer a spiritual practice and if you notice you know that there are things and I I have had to really work with this with the art um, I've been doing art like this now for like three, well, I've been doing art my whole life, but like this for about three years. And it, it took me a while 
to get free, freed up enough to do it. Because I would start, oh, that, well, that doesn't match. Oh, that needs to go. Oh, and I would get all me about it. And I just had to keep coming back to, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, and it, so it's very, it's very interesting. But when you, which is what we do with the dance, when you can hear yourself and you can be with yourself, um, it's, It's interesting to me. It, it, it feels almost amazing. Um, but it's like as soon as you hear it and you go, oh, yeah, that's me. And I have that little phrase, you know, oh, there I am doing that thing I do. I just love myself. When you get to that place, that thing that was constantly bothering you, it stops bothering you so much. And then it will get to the point, I promise you, where it will quit bothering you at all. And you'll have to go, oh yeah, I used to do that. I used to be anal about where my <laughs> pieces of paper went down on an uh, art project. I used to worry about wasting paint because why put this layer down if I'm going to cover it back up? What? What? And uh, really getting to the place where it's like, that's the point. That's the point. Is layers on layers. Just like life. Layers on layers. Add some more of those beauties, so I'll put them down there. There we go. All right, now what am I going to do? Oh, I need something right here. Ooh, this might be pretty. Let's just splash a color. It's a swirl bottle. Don't ask me. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't read this particular... Add. But it's a burst of color, so let's see what it'll do here. Look at there. Perfecto. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so now for me, I've got enough background. And I'm going to move over to. <clears throat> Those two pictures I showed you, except now I've moved them and who knows where they are. <laughs> oh, here they are. They really got to the bottom of something. Ah, there we go. All right. I'm thinking. In the ocean, how much more awesome can you get than the ocean? And this happy little fellow.
mean, I really don't want him and the bird on the same side. Well, he and the bird. She and the bird. <laughs> Whichever it might be. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I think what I'm going to do, because that's going to be at the edge of the page anyway. So let's save this piece of ocean. And, hello. Give us a little bit more. Well, that didn't work. All right. So we'll make that match. Except I don't want it on top of the wood's tail. Okay, so this actually needs to come on like. There we are. Okay. So, oh, and we lost our pretty little thing. So I'm going to move that back over here a little bit. There we go. All right, that's good. That's good. We'll need this. Where's my show up to life? Alright, so I am going to need this here. Oh, the trials and tribulations of the last minute. <laughs> when you know how you want it. Okay. I am going to make it match just because. I'm going to attempt to make it match, just because. Okay. Perfect. And this one's going to go down here. It'll be down in just a minute. And I need one more strip right there. How about some orange? There's not a lot of orange in there. But you see there's orange up here. And so adding orange down here will be very effective. So thank you, Mr. Discover Card. Add. Beautiful. Ooh, and our timing is perfect. Okay. We'll just stick this one right here. Beautiful. Okay. Now we'll finish up the pup. I think I know what's going on my grocery list. There we are. Put him back. Looks like we had a little wreck right here, which is a bummer, but make sure that's not something that'll come off. So let's just put some more pretty blue sky right here and cover up that silly little boo-boo. Alright. And you see it crinkles by the time you get to this point. 
And that's actually cool because that's just part of the texture of the piece. And if you don't like that, then just don't collage. <laughs> because um, your papers are always going to crinkle. That's just uh, nature of the medium. Now, this is a heavier piece of paper. It was a cover. And so I've got to put a little bit more on it to get it to behave. Looky there, looky there. So, my theory is... When I allow myself to have fun and show up for life, I will feel that happy. <laughs> Friends, it has been wonderful to be here with you, and I hope that you are having a glorious weekend and that tomorrow will be safe and just so, so joyous for you. If you are not in the States, we will, uh, no, not we will, but tap into, oh, what a little spot right there. Tap into our happy summer is here. Woo-hoo-hoo -hoo party. Now, see what happened here? It pulled there, but I kind of like that. So I'm going to go purposely do it in some other places. It kind of dried, so if I sit and let it dry a second. Oh, look at that. How cool that is. All right. This one here is just being snot. All right. I do, I do want one over here. And then I have to make sure that this stays open till this page I was using um, dries as well, because otherwise it will be a stinker. All right. I kind of like that little... Oh, there. There we are. I have to be careful not to pull too, too much. And I'm going to have fun today, aren't I? <laughs> so much fun. So much love. Um, join us over in um, Sacred Soul Dancers. Share your piece. We'd love to see it. And we will be having um, lots of fun stuff coming up in um, Sophia Society. So if you're not a member yet, we invite you to check it out. You can do that at bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y, forward slash join Sophia Society. And that will take you over to, I'll put my stone here. Um, that will take you over to read all about it. All right, my loves. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.